welcome back to my channel. I'm on a filming like roll. I feel so proud because I'm always so excited when I sit down and film but today's my day off and I was like I'm gonna wake up early. I did everything I needed to do. I uploaded my last video which was 45 minutes long which I literally cannot believe I filmed a video that long. Um, is the fourth or fifth time I filmed this video. Not today but I have filmed this video before because I had to literally put my hands on this palette and kind of just fiddle with it because I feel like I could not get a look out of it. Like should I put in like the clips of me failing at doing a makeup look using this palette? Like it was so bad. But anyways, sorry about the background. I feel like it's gonna be different every video. I'm still trying to like work with everything I talked about in my last video. But today's video is gonna be my review on the new um, Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I watched tons of tutorials on people using this palette and I finally like found a look that I liked and I wore it in my last video and I knew that people were gonna ask me or compliment me on my makeup so that's why I was like, you know what, this is perfect. Do the makeup look, then wear it in a video and then film a tutorial on it because people are gonna ask. So this is the new palette. It's pretty dirty already because I've had makeup hands all over it but this packaging is seriously like stunning. I really like it. Um, but these are all the shades and I talked about this in my haul video. I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I definitely was like on the urge of returning it because I was not satisfied with the way that the shadows were looking with the looks that I was creating if that makes sense. So I tried out like three different looks with this palette and I was just not happy at all. Like it just didn't work for me. So I honestly like my first review on this I would say just don't mind this hair. My hair is crazy right now. Um, but I honestly would say that I would not only use this palette for like one eyeshadow look so of course I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette I'm gonna be using this for my transition shades my crease shades and then my lid and all that the shimmer shades in this palette are gonna be for that because I I don't know why but every shadow in this palette is absolutely stunning I've never bought a palette with this many shimmery shades in it like every time I buy a palette it's like straight up mattes or like no shimmers at all and so when I saw this at Ulta I was like I need it because it has so many beautiful shades in it but this brown shade I feel like I can't work with I know this, this shadow I just can't work with um, this shadow was not my friend and same with the black shade so I'm only gonna be using the shimmery shades in this palette to create this look today um, I probably will do a couple looks using this palette if I do decide any more that I like but the look I'm gonna be doing is the look that I wore in my last video I'll make sure I'll leave it in the description box as well as in the end of the video if you haven't watched it already um, so what's Let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, let me know if you guys like when I film in the daytime like this. I feel like it kind of looks blue on camera because there's so much like natural light coming in but then I do have my filming lights on as well. Don't mind my nail. Um, but let me know if you guys like this lighting better which I like personally or when I film at night when it's just specifically using um, filming lights. So anyways, um, of course, I've already done my face makeup and my brows because I actually have somewhere to go. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film the eye portion. I do the same face makeup. All day is like my bad eyebrow day. You know when you have those days where your brows just don't look as fleeky as others? That's today. This one just looks a little crazy. And it's the uh, dual eyeshadow brush. So it has two ends to it. I used to talk about this brush all the time, but I just started using it again. Since I did buy all those brushes, I haven't really touched this. But I do really like this for blending shadow in the crease. I'm going to be using my usual transition shade and then I'm just going to go ahead and deepen it up. I use this palette for my crease shades all the time. Um, I just love this palette so much. I wonder if anybody else that has this palette dips into it as much as I do but this is my favorite transition shade right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my brush and I'm just going to start applying that in my crease and all over my lid. I'm not making it like perfect but I am kind of making sure that it is blended on the outer part brush. I need to wash my brushes today. That's one thing that's been on my list. That I have not done yet. Don't mind that right there. It's bothering me. But anyways, um, I haven't washed my brushes in like two weeks, I think, and it's really bothering me because when I want to do shadows that are not the same look every day, it's like the brush is dirty. I'm like, shit, I can't use it. So, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna go over and I just kind of put this brush at the top of my eye and I kind of just use it to blend out the shadows. Hairs are very stiff, so it helps blend out, and this is just an e.l.f. concealer brush. It's kind of like a cranberry red shade, but kind of has like a purple under tone to it. I really love this shade and I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to go ahead and keep my eye closed and just focus on like packing that shadow like on my outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply that shadow and just make sure that it's on my outer part of my eye and just kind of build it up. Sorry if I'm too close y'all. 
but I like being close so you guys can see what I'm doing. But you can tell it's just like kind of focused on the outer corner. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little brush. Um, this has like old color on it, but I used it yesterday with this look. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the outer shadow in with the rest of the transition shade. That way there's no like harsh line. There's gonna be a harsh line like on my lid until I put the shadow on. But I'm just going to go over it a little bit. And then I'm also going to take this shade right here, which is another shade. I feel like it's just a deeper version of the shade we just used in the outer corner. But it's more of a brown. So it's kind of like a taupe shade right here. But it has that red undertone. So I'm going to take that shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of be really light. But really have that nice blend right there. So pigmented. Like, honestly, I don't know about them. This little tiny brush, and that's when I'm gonna start going in with the shadows in this palette. So those palette, that, those shadows are my everyday shadows, but that's how I create my crease for this look. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this color Famous, and it's a very, very gold shade, and it's this shade right here. It's like my favorite gold in the palette. There is more golds, but this one's really pretty, and it's Famous. And I'm just tapping my brush in there, and I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm just literally following the shape of my eye. And I'm not tapping off any product because I want to make it stand out pretty well. And I'm just kind of applying it right in the inner part of my eye where it meets my lid. And I'm just kind of making sure that it's packed in there. And then I'm also bringing it down to my inner corner. And I'm only stopping it in the middle right there. So it's just the first inner third, I guess. Um, and I'm just like right where my eye like lid like folds to my crease. That's... What I've been liking, because I feel like it pops really well, and I saw that on a video that I was watching. I was like, damn, that looks so good. Girl is this one right here, and it's a really pretty, like, I don't know, it feels, it's, it's very silver, but it has like flakes of gold in it, and I really like it. Brush, so I spray it first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in the shadow, and then spray it one more time, so that way the actual shadow itself is wet. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the shadow all on me, my inner part of my lid and kind of bringing it right underneath the gold and then just kind of packing it and then making a slight line but not going all the way over and I'm just patting it so it doesn't have a harsh line. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out in the outer corner corner in the outer corner so if you can see that looks really really pretty um i don't know what it is it's kind of like not really like an ombre eye but you know what i'm saying girl um but i think this palette's really pretty you just really have to take your time with the shadows and i definitely would recommend spraying your brush with a fix plus or with any setting spray that you have because the shadows don't come up as pivoted when they're when they're dry they're kind of flaky this is a gorgeous look and i love the pop of gold it's perfect for the holidays or just if you want to be very festive with your makeup. Um, so I am going to go ahead and take this little pointed, I don't know what you call this. It's a very pointed brush and I'm just going to take the um, burgundy shade that I used in my crease and I'm just going to go ahead and run that under my lower lash line because that's the color that's really underneath my eye anyways. I feel like with every look recently, but this look specifically looks really good when I use my gold eyeliner from NYX and I used it in my Stila video I think but this is just a really pretty gold and it's super creamy and I don't like wearing black eyeshadows so I'm gonna put this on my um, waterline and it's just a really really pretty gold you guys can see that's the swatch right there and it's very creamy I love it the shade um, dipped gold or gold dipped and it's the shade right here I really love it it's super gold there's a lot of golds in this palette but some of them are more intense the other and then some of them have like different flecks so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in my inner corner this shadow is seriously like they're all really pigmented I keep saying that, but this one's like really pop in the eye. Um, on my lips, I talked about in my last video, but I have my Koki lip liner in the shade um, Warm Nude, and then on my lips I have warm, more creamer, please. Yesterday when I said, um, I said more coffee, please, I meant creamer. This is like my only actual lipstick that I have, but I would not recommend, um, I would not recommend wearing it by itself because it doesn't really stay very strong as a color on my lips, so I have to wear something over it. So that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mascara and my lashes. Um, these are the Eyler lashes. These are the Lux Mink ones, I think. I'm not sure. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those on. This is a Throwback Thursday song. Man, I loved you first. It was about eight years ago. Don't act like you don't know. Yep, you 
haven't noticed. Okay, so my hair looks crazy after I curl it and then wash it. So I need to go curl it again because I like curling it now. And it's like kind of easy because I've just been doing like the lower half of my hair. I don't curl like my whole hair, my whole head. So it doesn't look like I look like Shirley Temple. But anyways, that is it for this makeup tutorial. Hopefully it looks... Like, it looks exactly like how it looked yesterday when I did my makeup, and I actually really like the way that it turned out, um, and I think that it's really, it's really, I'm trying to say the word cranberry. It's very holiday, and it looks like a cranberry, like gold smoky, and I just think that it looks really, really pretty, and I'm glad that I finally filmed it again because the first time I filmed it, it did not turn out very well. Actually, the first like four times. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. And make sure that you guys are subscribed down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Because I'm on a roll of filming. Like I said, I think this is number 14 in a row. Like I normally take breaks in between uploading videos. Um, I go like a couple weeks. But I've been doing it every week. Sometimes I post multiple videos a week. So also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. That way you guys can see my behind the scenes. I post on there pretty much every single day and a lot on there so um yeah i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and until next time i will talk to you guys soon bye